Thanks for joining us at WISIS Forum 2018. I am very pleased to be joined by Mr. Ahmed Shamim Pezada of the Pakistani Telecommunications Authority. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much. Thank, Thank you for you joining us. Um, so to start with, can, can we talk about the role and the important, the key role of ICTs in Pakistan to deliver the Sustainable Development Goals? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it's a uh, uh, pleasure to me to be here on the behalf of the our Minister, Her Excellency Honorable Anusha Rahman Khan, who has uh, direct, uh, deputed me to, uh, to give the interview and she was busy somewhere in uh, other bilateral meetings. Uh, Pakistan uh, is, a, is a very important uh, country with the view that the population is 200 million and uh, our tele density is uh, approximately 76 percent. That's uh, all state of art technologies, especially the ICTs has gained a lot of uh, appreciation and adoptability among the people. The first thing comes with the policy that the government of Pakistan has issued a policy uh, which is uh, which I would say that uh, it's a forward looking policy and uh, its uh, major objective is to provide reliable, affordable and sustainable telecommunication services, ICT services to the public. We have uh, very good uh, bro broadband penetration at the moment. Uh, this uh, you would say that the travel we started in 2014 for the 3G, 4G services. Now we have 53 million uh, subscribers for the broadband, and uh, which is a, I think that good uh, sign uh, for a country like a big country like Pakistan. Similarly, ministry, the minister is leading so many projects, uh, uh, especially with what I would uh, 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 put there uh, on, on this forum that uh, we have Universal Service Fund and uh, we have ICT R&D Fund with the name of the Ignite. So uh, with this policy, with the current policy, the government has uh, or established 226 schools for the uh, for the women and Bethel Mall, which is uh, a an institution with the help of the Microsoft uh, we are uh, offering marginalized girls and women with the IT training program and uh, it's basically working on forces uh, communication, computing, coaching. Uh, this is, you know, is the vision by the minister to f the same way incubation centers, three incubation centers has been developed and more are under process in the major cities of Pakistan. And 30% uh, quota has been allocated to the women entrepreneurs in this uh, our, uh, uh, this uh, uh, incubation centers. Further, uh, uh, there are other projects government has also announced uh, digital Pakistan policy. That's for uh, especially the ICT services. Uh, IT enabled, there is uh, no taxation on it. And uh, the major aim is to make Pakistan an international hub or international level IT export country for the in the future. So this policy is also very good from the government of Pakistan. Similarly, uh, there is uh, another project uh, under the universal service. The government is, uh, you know, aiming to provide broadband services to the project has b has been laid laid it's uh, it would cover almost 8 million people in the far flung areas and uh, serving almost uh, th 3g services to them then the uh, optical fiber has been laid for connectivity of uh, approximately 5200 kilometer for 
rural and far flung areas this is 6000 villages you can say the 6000 counties so by using the ICT and these kind of technologies pakistan is you know is the heaven for this these kind of services Be, uh, another the important or good thing for pakistan the our youth is 65% of total population so and they are very much prone to the uh, 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 adoption towards the technology yes so uh, you've just explained that basically icts have been a very uh, powerful tool for inclusion and connectivity of all in pakistan now let's talk about social media yeah uh, you have many users uh, across pakistan and i know it's done a lot to help connect people but i think the pakistani government would have liked to see a bit more regulation as well uh, possibly so tell me about that yes uh, social media is uh, is a very good platform for connectivity for making the is a pakistan is a as a you know what we say this is now old world global village you are connected to your friends old friends you are uh, getting on the facebook on and uh, and uh, youtube you can have it's a no tons of knowledge there and uh, most of the time we use it but in the country as pakistan is involved in the war against terrorism so some uh, you know the criminals or some wrong people are also using the technology similarly the the social economic uh, social culture of society societal behavior in pakistan is different so there are sometimes issues with the women's that uh, their images wrong images are put on the facebook and people are blackmailed so criminal activity is there government has uh, uh, in 2016 has introduced a very g- a new law uh, which is uh, pika pakistan electronic crime Ordin- uh, act 2016 so i think that we should instead of we may have a lot of regulation we should have some interaction with the with social media people that the regulator or the government when they say something they should listen to them okay yeah they, they yeah. Sh- yeah and that's why it's important to to come here to wisis forum to meet all the stakeholders yes yes yeah, that's 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 that is the uh, there are so many aspect one of them was this one as well okay mr pierzanta thank you very much thank you thank you madam <laughs>